So we'll look at the at the final project, what that entails. I'll look at the instructions first. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of pieces to the final project, but not complicated because it ties together a lot of what you've done on previous weeks and previous assignments. It's just sort of all consolidating it. Huh, for some reason my bullet points look weird. But imagine these are bullet points, not, not a number 10. I don't know why, why it looks like a 10. Do you guys see that too, a little number 10? Is it? It's weird. It's just bullet points. But anyway, uh, so in this, in this final project we're tying it all together. We've learned a variety of topics and uh, we want to consolidate this into a final project. So uh, we'll look at the final project template file in a moment, which you need to rename to have your name. You're going to fill it in with your own detail. Again, we'll look at it, what that detail is. And there'll be various boxes in there that are just placeholders that you need to fill in according to your website and your online presence. Uh, we'll talk about making screenshots. You can make screenshots in Windows or the Mac, and I'll show you how to do both. Because uh, you want to add some a little bit of graphics to your final report, not just boring text. Um, you're going to update your company profile and marketing strategy. So those were previous assignments that you did and that you turned in. And now as more time has gone on and you've worked more, you want to revisit them and see if any of those require any updates. Maybe new goals, new strategies, a new tagline. Maybe you don't like your company anymore and you updated aspects of it. So the template file itself and your company profile and marketing strategy will need to be printed out. You can print it in color if you want. We've got color printers here. Remember, um, you can use our color printers if you'd like. Black and white will work fine. It won't affect your grade. But it should be inside of a notebook. So any kind of notebook you want to get, that won't affect your grade. But as long as you turn it in a bit professionally, that'll be good. The grading is divided into a variety of parts that are worth either 5 or 10 points each. And in total, the final project is worth 40 points. It's like four regular assignments. So for some reason, these links are not active. But if you copy and paste, what I've done is I've got a particular concept that you need to do, and then a link to the specific video or videos where, remember, I, re I recorded the lecture about those videos, so I direct you there to the exact video for that particular topic. So this goes back to the explanation of the company profile. You have to add five more tweets on Twitter. You might have uh, submitted the original Twitter assignment and you haven't added to Twitter. Well, you need five more. And it's very open-ended, so whatever you want based on what you've already done on Twitter. There's a link here that we'll look at a little later, analytics.twitter.com, where that will show you some stats and charts and things to show you how well you've been doing on Twitter. And that would be good to use as your screenshot for your section in your final project uh, to see how well you did on Twitter. You need to make one more post on Facebook. Again, it's open-ended, whatever you want to put in it. And these are the Facebook videos. I'll show you a place where you can get a screenshot. There's two places. I'm going to show you the one that most likely all of you have, and then I'll also show you the one that you might have, depending on the amount of traffic. Not everyone has this special statistics screen on Facebook. The marketing strategy updated and printed. There's the video when we talked about the marketing strategy. We'll look at the final project template file in a moment. That needs to be printed as well. Um, specifically on your website. So those are some links there about setting up your domain on GoDaddy, setting up WordPress so that your home screen is, is a home page instead of a blog page. Remember that. About page is self-explanatory. The contact page, when we, made, when we made a contact form, there's a video again, when we talked about blogs. So a um, couple of videos on blogs. Notice 
here it says three posts in total or I would say actually three posts minimum we've already done two posts from previous assignments so one more blog post based on what you've learned in the class already you should be able to do that one more blog post uh, your webmaster tools report um, or your jetpack remember we we created our GoDaddy account and we took some time to connect our WordPress on GoDaddy over to Google Webmaster Tools and Bing Webmaster Tools. So this is sort of either or because also we use the Jetpack plugin on our WordPress site. Both of these will give you statistics. They'll tell you how many hits and traffic you got on your website. And on the final project, either or of those tools, you should take a screenshot of that and put it in the report. And again, I'll show you how to make a screenshot and access this stuff in a moment. But these are the pieces and how much they're worth of the final project template file that will need to be printed. It can be two or three pages, that's fine, five pages, whatever. You can print it, put it in a notebook, three-hole punch notebook, and you need to submit it in person at six by six o'clock. Our class is at 5.30, I'll be here at 5.30, as always, but the class, when you need to make sure you turn it in, is six o'clock. That's the last deadline. 40 points, and I'll be spending the rest of that week grading it and any other late work that you turned in. Any late work that you haven't turned in is also due by the last day, May 27th. 6 p.m. We still have a whole week and as I said up on the board here we've got lab time on on Thursday and Friday. So in general any questions on this part of the final so far? Yeah. Um, for the Twitter assignment, um, like if, I, if I'm putting Twitter posts since uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, submit the original five, five posts so I can submit ten Yes, because you need the original ones from the first assignment, which actually were seven. Remember, it was one per day for a week. And then uh, these last five ones from now until next week. Yeah, two. Any other questions on, the, on this part of the assignment? All right, let's look at, if you go back to the template, if you open that template file, There'll be a spot for you to put your company logo, analytics for your company, make sure you put your company, don't leave it to say your company. Uh, and there's a bunch of spots that you need to fill in there. It's sort of got an idea of what you should do and then you fill it in yourself. So there's a section on your company information tagline. Again, you've already done this before, so just fill it in again. Or if you've changed it, you can change it what's your mission and your vision statement. So that's basic stuff you've done before. That might not even change, and that's fine. But as the course goes on and you get more ideas, maybe you think you can change it. You can. No problem. There's a section on website analytics. So this is what I'm saying about either or. Where we're on this other part here. Either you get it from your webmaster tools, which if you watch the video, you see that we set up Bing and we set up Google. Or you can use Jetpack, which we did it in that video. So what I'm saying here in the template, under this category, Website Analytics, just a quick summary. As of May 25th, either Jetpack, Google, or Bing reports that your site has X number of views, hits, or traffic. Whatever statistic you want to show, but you have to pull that statistic out of either Jetpack, Google, or Bing. That'll show in this report what kind of traffic you've had for your site. And then we've got Twitter and Facebook, the two big social networks we talked about regarding assignments. We had Pinterest and we had LinkedIn, but those were extra credit. So what is required here, though, is Twitter. So you want to write here also, by the end of the course, May 25th, uh, that's that Monday, uh, how many followers you currently have and you list an accomplishment, which again is very open-ended. What do you feel you accomplished on Twitter? 
in the amount of time that you've had it. Maybe you got a retweet. Maybe you got a celebrity to <coughs> favorite your tweet. Maybe you uh, connected with interesting accounts or learned something. So what do you think you accomplished with Twitter? What do you want to accomplish? What's a goal? If the class were going to be going on, but even for yourself, you you graduate from this class, but hopefully you just don't you know forget all about this and don't really use it anymore. You still want to use it if you're going to be in this business of, of a web designer. And so think about what would be an objective for next month. When you write your report next month, what, what was your goal that you were going for? Like here I'm saying, I want to get three more followers by next month. I think I can do that. If I might say, I want to get 100 new followers by next month. Sure, but you have to decide what perhaps are attainable goals. At a certain point, you might be able to pull that many followers, but uh, you know, pace yourself. And you have a goal to reach, like get three more followers, but <coughs> what, what would you recommend as a way to reach that goal? Again, that is also very open-ended, but uh, what do you think you can do on Twitter to, to reach your goal? Maybe your goal just is to post one new tweet every week. That, that's fine. What would, you, what would you do as a recommendation to get there? Maybe just plan on uploading a cool picture to Twitter every week. That will satisfy your objective. Very similar then in Facebook. You're also going to track where you currently are at and where you hopefully want to get to and with a recommendation. So under summary... Oh, hello. So under summary, goodbye. Under summary, you're going to again write how many likes you have on Facebook, an accomplishment, an objective, and a recommendation. And as I said, because text sometimes is just boring, screenshots. So I'll we'll talk about adding these screenshots. This screenshot here for your website comes from Jetpack. Uh, and if you've got this properly set up, like how the video shows on the other screen, when you log into your WordPress site, right in your dashboard, there'll be this little statistic panel. You can click on it, as I'll show you in a moment, and you can get some stats. I pulled that directly from my victorsart.info site. So, okay, respectable. I'm getting some hits. I got like 10 hits on May 4th, and so forth. So that's kind of showing a little bit of history of my site. We'll look at how to see about getting the, this Twitter activity screen. Um, again, it shows that there was some activity on uh, you know, April 20th or 21st, whenever that is. Uh, more activity was on my Twitter, and then a little bit lower, a little bit higher. <coughs> so 240 impressions over the last 28 days. And then on Facebook, we'll also look. There's a spot where you can get some basic statistics. So right here, pretty anemic, but it shows I've got one like and not, not too much activity. But if you are using it consistently, that might give you more statistics. So this is one of the things you're going to turn in. You're going to fill it in, make sure, be careful because notice up here, you have to put your name of your company there too. Don't just leave it saying your company. This is your address. Put in your web address your email. So fill it in, fill in all aspects of your company as necessary. Print that out. That's one part. Print out your updated company profile and your updated marketing strategy. So three documents, it might be like five pages or seven pages or something. Print that all out, put it in a notebook, and you're turning it in in person on the last day. That's the general concept. We'll look at more details in a moment, but any questions so far? Alright, so I'm going to take a quick look at, you can do this if you'd like, but I'm going to log into my WordPress site just to show you where you can get your statistics.
So this should work on your WordPress.com one as well, or your own personal GoDaddy WordPress. But I've logged in, and I, the fir very first thing that it shows me is the dashboard. And the default is on the right side here, I've got this panel that says Jetpack. If you don't have it on yours, uh, in a moment during the lab time, we can look to see what, what happened. Maybe your plugin is not properly set up or something happened, but we can we can activate it. So here I see it, I see that statistic and if I and if I click on view all, that'll give me a larger chart that I can that I can work with. So let's say I want to take that as my screenshot to put into your final project. So here's the trick. I'll show you on the Windows and Mac. If you've got a Windows computer on your keyboard, at the very top right you've got a print screen button. On the very top right you've got three buttons there, three keys. Print screen, scroll lock, and pause break. If you hit print screen, that takes a screenshot of the whole screen. Then in Word, you can just paste. Control V, screenshot. So that's Windows. You just press the print screen button and it captures the whole screen. Paste it into Word. On the Mac, you want to look at the screen in question and then on the Mac you hit Command Shift 3. So the Command key, the Shift key, and the 3 key. And that creates a screenshot on the Mac on your desktop. A file, a, a, a ping file. That file then you have to drag onto your Word document and you've got your screenshot. So two ways to do a screenshot on Windows or Mac. Again, I'm recording this. You can review it or ask me again during the, the lab. But I've uh, copied, a, made a screenshot here, and you can edit it a little bit. Uh, here in Word, notice it took my, made my screenshot, and it put the whole web browser. Maybe I don't need to show all of this stuff. I just need to focus on the chart. What you could do when you paste the picture into Word, you've got at the very top right a new tab, Picture Tools. If you click on Picture Tools, you can select over here to Crop. And now you can drag the corners, those little black corner edges, so that it cuts out the part you don't want. So I would cut out the stuff not necessary. Just keep the, the actual chart. And when you like the result, you can press Enter. That's under the Picture Tools crop at the top right. So this will be uh, one of the requirements. You're filling out this form. You, you want to fill in that text, but you also want screenshots. So here's how to get that screenshot from your Jetpack statistics. Any questions on that? Again, if your Jetpack stats don't show up, See me during the break and we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Now let me show you your, your Twitter stats. I'm going to log into my Twitter account so you can log into yours if you'd like. I logged into my Twitter account. And then there's two ways to get to it. If if you log into Twitter and you look at the top right corner where your little profile picture is and you click that, you might see your analytics um, menu item. If you don't see it, you can go to Analytics directly by going to the address, just like I have on the assignment, analytics and analytics.twitter.com. So if you don't see the analytics menu item in your menu right there, you can go to the address, analytics.twitter.com. And that screen will also show you charts, stats about how well you've
performed on Twitter. Specifically, so you can take a screenshot of this. This this is fine. You can get you can get this. This is interesting. It kind of shows you in general. Well, I haven't gotten that many views recently, and that makes sense. I haven't tweeted that much very recently. I haven't gotten that many profile views and so forth. But I did get one follower. So you can do a print screen there. And what you can also do is go to the tweets screen here. You can capture that screen, print screen that one if you want, whatever. Any one of these statistic screens is good. That one looks a little more impressive because the chart goes up. But the one back on home, that'll, that'll work. I'll take that one too. You want to print screen that. And then you can add it to your Word and crop out what you don't need. Any questions on that? Looks like you have a question there, Ben. Any questions? No? Okay. So you can get uh, Twitter statistics that way. You go to the page. And lastly, I'll show you a couple of places where you can get some Facebook stats. Everyone most likely has the basic stats, but you might have the more advanced stats. You won't have them, though. Not everyone will have them. So I'll show the basic stats, and I'll show you where you might get your advanced stats. But I'm going to log into Facebook. logged into Facebook. I switched over to my company page. Depending on some factors, mostly that you have at least 30 likes, you might have a tab at the top, page, messages, notifications, publication, publishing tools, and insights. I don't have 30 likes on my page yet, so I don't have an insights tab you might have an insights tab. Those are the advanced insights. I'll show you an example with another client in a moment. But I don't have the, the insights. So another place to get some basic stats is, it's kind of hidden, but if you click on home, because you've got home and your page, if you click on home, you've got a very basic insights right here. This will tell you how many likes you've got. So if you have under 30, you're not going to have the, the deep insights and your total reach and so forth. Uh, what happens if I click see all? Yeah, not available. So I need I need 30 likes at least first. You need 30 likes. So I can't see the deep insights yet. But here that'll be enough. I can take a screenshot of that. All right, print screen or command shift 3 on the Mac. Paste it into my Word document and crop it. So I can get those uh, screenshots and put them into re to my report. In addition to the to the to the text and the stats, I can then add this uh, these screenshots. And when you print, you can print in color or black and white. It doesn't really matter. And uh, put it all in a nice notebook. And turn it in by six o'clock. And that's the project. So in addition to tweeting a few more times, one more Facebook post, one more blog post, 
filling in this de these details. So make sure you've you followed every one of these points that I have in the assignment because you will get deducted points <coughs> if you don't do something. You do have to be mindful of all of the parts that are worth points and make sure you accomplish them. So any questions? Yeah. Yeah. So here's here's one way. Uh, try going up to, let me go back here, try going up to the icon uh, of your profile at the top right, your profile icon. Click there, and do you see something that says analytics? Okay, if you don't, you can also go to the address analytics.twitter.com. And so any stats that you get from there are, are good to use. Any other questions? Um, so you Yeah, you can get that little bar, or you can also go because right now, um, right now you're looking at your home screen, right? This little bar is fine. You can also go to the tweets screen right there, and that's a different kind of bar. That one's fine too. So uh, either one that you want. Uh, followers. Yeah, that's another one. You could do followers. That one looks interesting. Hopefully it's not going down. But any screenshot from any of those uh, tabs is fine. That one looks good. It shows you you're getting more, well, at least me, I'm getting more followers. But if it drops down a little bit, it might be just temporary. As you tweet and interact with people, people will start to, to follow you. Any other questions? Professor, what's the other resources dashboard yours have on, on the WordPress? Yours uh -huh. is another thing called Jetpack. How do you use Jetpack? Do you have your site on your own .com or do you have it on WordPress.com? Okay, on yours, you don't. You're not going to be able to have Jetpack, but this, but these stats, stats should show up either on the dashboard. Or I think back on if you go back to just WordPress.com. So we'll look at yours in a moment. But your stats, instead of you having your own jetpack little screen, you're going to have it someplace else. So I have the stats here. Is that okay? Is that okay? Uh, that, that's all we need a picture of the stats, right? Yeah. Okay, exactly. That'll work. All right. Any other questions? So what we'll do is have um, um, some work time, you know, I, I hope you take advantage of that since this is the last time we'll have class together. If you need any clarification on any assignments or this assignment or if you want to get started on it, I can look at it before you, you leave so you can turn it in and get the best grade. And as I said, I'll, I'll lift this up in a moment, but on the board I wrote that we've got a, a lab time on uh, tomorrow. 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Friday 9 a.m. to to 12. Uh, I'm not going to be here though, but we have tutors that could possibly help you. Let me lift this up, and like I said, I want to take a photo of this or make a note, but here is our. Life. Yeah. So the blackboard? Either or. Or just the regular No, it doesn't matter if you've got your Hotmail open or whatever, just send it that way. Yeah, the title of the name of the assignment. Yeah, the name of the assignment, so I know which is which. And then also, everyone, we've got a, a snack or two if you would like. But here, don't eat it. So we'll have some lab time and then. Last day of class next uh, next Wednesday.